This is the plan in the coming five years for ISIS. This was their plan in five years. You will see part of Europe. This is because this is step by step. They will take all of Ethiopia, half of Africa, Morocco. The map there is for Spain. It's called Andalusia. Europe. And the rest you see in the map. And all the way to Russia and to China. This is just five years. This was the plan. And they keep releasing maps. The more they succeed, the more they want to do more maps and to tell you what, what is the next, where we will be next. So the Shia, they want to take over, the Sunni, they want to take over, and the European are hippies. They are busy in the bar drinking coffee and tea. They don't know what's coming to them. Their women is naked. Their men are drunk. And the Christians, who they are truly Christians, they have no lips no more. They don't. They don't even talk. And if there's a Christian, he talk, the Christian, they will speak against him. They say, this is not what Jesus taught you. Jesus taught me to be coward, hypocrite, liar, except what's wrong. The Muslim preparing an army, training their kids, teaching hatred, and the Christians. Jesus love everybody. Don't insult the religion of other people. It's not right to insult the religion of somebody else. You go to the church. The priest is a hippie. We respect everybody's religion. It is not right to insult somebody else's religion. Jesus loves everybody. Is that true? So you have one point something billion teaching their kids to hate you. And you have a bunch of hypocrite Christians making Christianity a religion of hippies. And nobody want to tell you the truth. And the truth is so ugly to the point the second you say it to people, people will accuse you of all kinds of things. And if there is a priest, he speaks the truth, people will not like him. You know, I remember when I... Uh, start doing what I'm doing today, which I did long time ago. Each time I speak, Christians don't even, nobody will listen. In fact, if not 9-11, nobody will be here. I remember I used to open my chat room and pal talk, hoping that people will listen. Nobody, nobody care. Ah. 20 people, 30 people, 40 people coming to listen. And most of them, they take the microphone and they argue with me. They say, this is not what the Christianity, you should preach the gospel only. You should not attack other people's religion. That's not what Jesus taught us. And then 9-11 happened. Suddenly, my chat room is overloaded. Overloaded. You know what overloaded? There is a limit. 
the chat room cannot take more. I paid from my pocket to buy a chat room where I can have a maximum number of 300. And in order to get in, you have to wait until one person leave so you can get, so you have to keep clicking at the chat room, click, 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 until you get lucky and get in. From nobody. Wanna listen? To everybody wanna listen. So it's not because the Christians, they've been smart, they listen to me. It's not because the Western, they got smarter, they listen to me. It was because of 9-11. Otherwise, nobody wanted to listen. Every single Christian I spoke about Islam to, he go against me. And the speech they give you, this is not what Jesus taught you. And then you show them, a friend, Jesus called them hypocrite. Jesus called the Pharisees, who they are rabbis. They are not Muslims. They worship the same God as our God. He called them murderers, evil hypocrites. And then they say to you, you should not insult someone else's religion. My friend, I'm not insulting. I'm explaining to you what this religion is about. They say when you explain to us, this is an insult. I struggle a lot to make people listen. Took me a lot of work. I have actually here Sahih Muslim. I never met this gentleman, but he knew me. I don't know how many years he knew me already. He was there in Bad Talk. I used to stay eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, every single day of my life. In other words, I have no life just to serve and to teach. I come from work, I eat just anything. Sometimes I eat when I'm opening the computer and I go live and I stay until I cannot talk no more. Just to warn the people about what is coming and nobody might listen. Nobody. I tried to open a TV station. Nobody helped us. You know, the old days was not like easy, like now. I mean, I go live in YouTube. No, you know, you cannot go, go live. What live? This was impossible before. Today is very easy. I mean, everybody can make videos. Today, the, your phone is a computer. When I started, my computer take an hour to get in. Sometimes the modem is stuck. To load one video, it might take you three hours, four hours, five hours. And today, nothing much changed, really. We might see like we have a big numbers of viewers, but trust me, the number is so small. If I make a video right now about falafel, I will have more of you than what I am saying now. If a woman, she is cutting wood and she is wearing a panty, she will have two, three, four million of you. It is reality. The whole world is asleep. Nobody is, you know, they don't care. Until those criminals, they slaughter you one by one. And they are coming after you. They are everywhere.
The whole world is asleep. They do not know how big the problem is. Israel is no different.